Hey guys, my name is Dean. Welcome to Manful Yoga. In this quick video, I give you a short but in-depth tutorial for the Warrior One posture found in yoga. Let's get straight into it. So you're going to start at the top of your mat and take a medium-sized step back with your left foot. Point that foot out at 45 degree at a 45 degree angle. Make sure that your feet don't aren't forming a direct line with one another. So your right foot should be about four to six inches outside of the left foot. Start by straightening your legs and then squaring your hip toward the front. So your hips toward the front. So the right hip pulls back, the left hip pulls forward. Push down firmly through your right leg. So you feel the weight in the right hip. And then bend your right knee until your right shin is perpendicular to the floor. So we're making a 90 degree angle with the shin to the floor. To increase the mobility here, you're gonna crawl that foot forward. Squeeze your legs toward one another. So the right leg squeezes back and the left foot squeezes forward. Make sure to push down, continue to push down firmly through both feet. Keep your back knee locked out. So don't allow your left knee to bend. Keep it locked out. Push down through the heel and the outer edge of the back foot. From here, with your hip squared forward, with your abs tight, and the legs squeezing toward one another, lift your arms straight overhead. Make sure you don't arch your back here. Try to keep your spine neutral and work on squeezing your arms back. That's going to add a shoulder mobility element to this. As you hold the posture, you're going to inhale to get taller and exhale to sink deeper into this posture. As you sink deeper into it, you may need to continually adjust uh, your right foot. So if your knee passes your ankle, make sure to crawl that right foot further, further forward. Again, you don't want your feet to line up in a straight line, so your back foot should be to the outside of your front foot. To square your hips as much as possible, firmly push through the front hip toward the floor and narrow your stance as needed. So you might not be ready for your feet really far apart, especially if you notice your chest going forward past your hips, and so you might want to bring your feet closer together at first. Focused on feeling the correct stretches in your lower body, and don't worry so much about um, how deep you get into it. And again, stretches, correct muscle engagement, and keep that spine at neutral. So not arched, but neutral, and shoulders above your hips. And that's that. For more information on this pose, make sure to head to the link in the description below. You'll get benefits, a full pose technique walkthrough, common errors to avoid, modifications if you can't quite do it, and get some FAQs answered. All of the information I just gave you was taken directly from my book, Yoga Fitness for Men. It was a number one new release in three categories on Amazon, featured in Muscle and Fitness Magazine, and also in Men's Health Online. It's available all over the world, in stores and online. Make sure to check that out. And also, look at the rest of this page. We've got a full pose walkthrough, uh, benefits, modifications if you can't quite do the posture yet, common errors to avoid, and also some answers to uh, common frequently asked questions. And if you're not already on my members area or using one of my programs, make sure to check out the rest of the training resources on this website. There's tons of stuff here to help you learn yoga and also see and experience the benefits of yoga, help you get stronger, improve your mobility, and much, much more. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you use this pose guide and uh, it's useful for you. And I'll see you on the next video.